I'm from the Philippines. I'm from Phoenix. Together, Together we'll fill the Phoenix. Phoenix. Two countries. One heart. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our weekly, weekly Chica, Chica Chica. Good job. Hey, we nailed that one this time. We are spontaneous. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's actually pretty well rehearsed. <laughs> Okay, i give you an update of our life, what we've done for the last week. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving, like it's late last Thursday, but that was actually our last week. Is Yeah, and it's the first day of December to us, not in the Philippines. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, it's December 1st. It's... And we're actually recording this Sunday night. We're going back to Sunday nights, and it's just yeah, a lot easier. Monday, which just wasn't working, so yeah, we experimented. Yes, correct. Because we forgot to do a lot of things in one day and we rush, rush, rush and not, we're not prepared, you know. And the sun's going down so early here. And it's cold. I don't want to go outside or go somewhere. Don't laugh. Okay, so it's a Thanksgiving week. So what we do for this week, um, a friend of Tuesday, a friend of ours passed a interview for a citizenship for U.S. And, and so we, we celebrated over there. Yes. And then um, Wednesday, we didn't really do much. Oh, you got your haircut. <laughs> and Papa got a haircut too. And guess what? I've been going to this stinking barber for seven years since I've moved in here. And the barbershop's changed hands a couple of times, but I've never seen a Filipino barber. <laughs> the first time Papa goes down there, he gets his hair cut by a Filipino. <laughs> and I'd actually ask several of the Filipino groups if they knew anybody, uh, oh, a yeah. Filipino barber. And none of them... Replied. None of them knew anybody. Correct. And so dumb luck, divine intervention, however you choose to, to frame it up, his first haircut in the U.S. was done by a Filipino. And then he just say, hey, can you do a patilia? And the guy was like, yep. And then speak, <laughs> this, speak the same Tagalog. And then I told Papa, you're lucky wherever you go, Papa. <laughs> Did he, he, that, that was actually really cool. That was a really blessed event. Yes, it is. He is so blessed in a lot of ways I could possibly imagine. You know, oh. <laughs> but that's it. And then um, Thursday, um, oh, I got like mental block there, pose for a minute there. <laughs> when it's a Thursday, it's a Thanksgiving, and Thursday we was a big turkey day. Yes, yeah, so um, we went to um, to uh, your sister in Casa Grande, and it and rained. No, it really rained. Oh well, no, it rained Thursday night. Yeah, um, so we have like an elegant table setting. I was say elegant to me because like mama said, so which fork do I need to use in this? Which spoon do I need to use in this? And I said, you could just speak whatever it is. It doesn't matter. No one knows. No one will, will know. <laughs> you know how you... I'm not even sure they know which forks are properly. You know, because they have two forks and... Well, there's one... They did. They, they, my sister said it is a semi-formal setting that you had the soup spoon, the, rake, the tablespoon, or the teaspoon. They had a dessert fork and a dinner fork and all that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah, and she's so sweet and she's so amazing. Like, we got those name tags, like, grateful for, like, say, Cindy, and then Happy Thanksgiving. Isn't it really cool? She yes, has a big house. And I, ha I took a video on that one, too. Kind of. Not really. Maybe. I don't know. But a little yeah. bit. Yeah. We did a little bit of video down there. Yes. Yeah, so... Um, and then we had to come back fairly early. Yes. Because we have a Phil um Thanksgiving again for dinner and dinner number two. Yes. We I feel like that week this week I feel like I've eaten most of the turkey for my fifth year here for Thanksgiving. Because I tried the diff fry a Louisiana diff fry turkey that our dear friend Ricky made. Our, our roommate did. He stayed here. And he deep fried a pair of turkeys. It and, uh, it's really good. He cooked up some uh, uh, southern greens, southern style greens. And it's really good. The mom and papa were really impressed with those. Yeah. Uh, we were going to take some over to the Philam Thanksgiving. And it's probably just as well we didn't. Yeah. That there, there was a 
ton of food over there and, and a ton left over. Yeah, but the turkey <clears throat> was like all gone, the deep fried. Yeah, the deep fried turkey, that disappeared in a heartbeat. There, there were no leftovers on that one. I don't think there were bones left on that one. I know. <laughs> it was really good because even like um, Ati Marina like eat also the backbones, you know, and it's really good. It was really good. And then um, that's actually it for Thursday. And Friday I need to work. It's Black Friday. Yeah, I kind of hold up that I don't do Black Fridays. Yeah, I don't really go uh, uh, shopping, but except, except, except for yesterday. Uh, we are in Route 21 and it says entire store up to 60%. It's where it starts $12. Yes, can I buy five? Mama and here we're going shopping. Oh, cute girl. Oh. Hello. Hello, ma. Pagpili, ma. We got three bags of our. <laughs> we went up to the pile almost taller than Papa. <laughs> went to go shopping. Oh, yeah. But I'm like so yes, so. It Black Friday, but. It's our. It, I, f I feel like so happy, you know, like my mama, Papa, we just pick up whatever we want and not thinking about how much we spend. So that's why. Girl, girl. <laughs> they had a girl's day. Papa got a coat out of it. Yeah. And then um sweater and I didn't even get dinner out of it. We get we treat you for dinner. For Dennis, yes, last night. Well, time. yeah, the, later that afternoon we went to uh, um anthem. <laughs> anthem. The anthem to their big tree lighting ceremony. Yeah. Or, to their big tree. They, they, we, we didn't go to the tree lighting ceremony. That was Thanksgiving. Yeah, so, no, before Thanksgiving. So you need to compile those pictures. The the, the actual kickoff to it was either the day before or day out. Yeah. Oh, that was, yeah, it was a little bit before Thanksgiving. That was when we went to car show, good guys car show. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was and actually then, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, and then we're so tired. Me and Mama and Papa, they're tired. She have pictures in that too. We have like a bunch of pictures in that too. Oh my god! That, uh, yeah, a lot of things a going on. Weeks ago. Yeah. Um, but anyways, we went up to see the tree. It's I guess it's supposedly bigger than the one at Rockefeller Center and all this good garbage. It's eighty feet, eighty feet tall with uh, five thousand ornaments and ten thousand LED lights. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty massive tree. It's actually really cool. But uh, yeah, I. And it's an actual live tree that, it, or well, it's a dead tree now, but <laughs> it's a it's life. a real tree. Let me put it that way. Yeah, it came from California, Southern California, something somewhere like there, Oregon, something like that. Yeah, because we don't grow those kind of trees here. Yeah, and then yes, but I'm just so happy yesterday because I got to shop a lot of my sweater and boots and just girly yeah, girl. She wound up with. Three or four new outfits. Mama wound up with a couple, three outfits. Yeah, and then I got boots with really, really good sale. And Mama too, like she really loved her boots. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, that's actually. And today is a chores day. And guess what? Someone was so excited using the hand wash that Papa and I spent the days we could. It rained last week. Yeah. Uh, off and on, all stinking week, and it was, it was stinking bitter cold. Yeah, it is. But we spent the days we could. And, uh, I had an old fifty-five gallon drum that had been sitting around for other intended uses that we scuba dive. And I was gonna make it for wash tanks for the scuba, but just never, never got to it, and really haven't dove enough since I've been here to make to justify. Excuse me, the time or hassle to get it done but since mom and papa are doing laundry by hand that i figured well, let's get off this let's get off the kitten you know stick and actually do i this. was so worried with them today because i'm not really feeling well and they're like outside starting 9 30 washing and finish up around 1 30 and i said you're not cold i'm like i'm here like taking a nap and they're like doing a hand wash I'm like, are they serious about it? And I was like going back and forth because I was worried if they're cold or not. And then Mama said, no, we're not because we're moving and it's also warm and the sun is, you know, really in there. 
So I was like worried, but they're really, really liking the big bucket. Mama and Papa are impressed with a lot of the, the stuff here, a lot of the, the technology, oh, a lot yeah. of the machinery. Still do not like the washer, though. They don't trust them. We it. did get them to use the dryer because the backyard, a lot of the backyard are muddy. is pretty muddy. Yeah. And where they normally hang out, they're close to dry. Yeah. Would be walking through that all day, so. Yeah. We did get them to use the dryer. Correct. Just the washing. Because they, Mama said, well, your white turns to a dirty one. I just want to do that. And if it makes them happy, I, I don't mind. Oh, yeah, me if too. If they don't mind doing it. I pay, it a lot of, I pay a lot of respect and support and, you know, whatever. Because they yeah. feel valued and, you know, love. And, and that's why I made the, the, the laundry rack for them, the, the wash rack or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. That we brought it so that instead of having to be down there on the ground doing it, that it moved it up to where they could stand up and do it. Correct. And we kind of measured it to Papa's height. Hi, Mama. They're both so, the same height. Well, and that, that's what he said, is that, that, that him and her are about the same height, so if it's comfortable for him, it's comfortable for her. Yeah. And this way that they're not, you know, stooped over or squat down or whatever, but yeah, it and, works out kind of cool. Correct. And overall, this weekend was, like, amazing because yesterday also after shopping, um, we have lunch, and then I, I baked banana bread that Mama and Papa love. Like, I, they didn't realize that I know how to bake because, well, I, like, pretty much just not do, like, chores or everything. You know, I don't cook. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, and Mama and Papa was so impressed with <laughs> the banana cake. They made and they love it and I'm just so happy, you know, like even making breakfast for yesterday because, you know, normally they do it, you oh. know, and it made me happy when like I could do it for them. You know, it's been a long time. Oh, we went to uh, Asiana today, the, uh, oh, yes. the local Asian market or one of the local Asian markets. Guess what we found? The Cebu Chorizo. Oh my God. I'm looking forward to have one of those this weekend, this Saturday. So we've got next. Yeah. Ooh, oh, or we could do it. Oh, we could do Sunday case. Fry a uh, sorry day. We need to go to Casa Grande. Yeah, we need to be down there fairly early. Yeah, I and mean, we need to pack our pack our things or chocolate or whatever it is because we go straight to EPS Light Parade. The next Saturday, uh, my sister decorates Christmas cookies every year. Yeah. And so this is gonna be. Uh, the first one, well, obviously the first one mom and papa get to go to. Yeah. And it's kind of a Christmas tradition with the family. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing, too, is it's also the APS Light Parade. Yes. I think I did a video last year. Yeah. Last year's parade. Yes, you do. And I'll try and post, remember to post a link to the, I keep on saying I'm going to post links in these videos, and I need to remember to do that. <laughs> I need to have a notepad with me as I'm. You need to videos. put your sticky notes and finish your wanderlust and do do it, you know? But, uh, but, yeah. but that actually brings us up to today and a little bit into next week. Yep. Uh, next week's going to be fun. It's going to rain again on Wednesday. That they're predicting a 90% chance of rain again. Wow. Uh, I think this is the most rain you've seen since you've been here. I know, and it's a lot cooler, cooler, cold. Yeah, past. it went from 90 to 55 fast in a trucker that just saw a state trooper. Correct. And it, it's been cold that right now, well, but, right now it's 60 outside, so that's not too, we got a thermometer over there. Yeah, but I will say I was well acclimated or adopting the, because before when my first year, it's not really cold, but I'm like three, four layers, and now, no, it's okay, I could just have this. And, well, the other thing too is it's been so super humid, you know, for Arizona at least, Yeah. The, this entire time. And so that, that cold and the humidity on top of it has just made it feel even colder. So Yeah. But that would be it, right? But yeah, that's about it. And uh, next week I'm definitely going to try and get some good photos, some good uh, video of the APS Light Parade. Yeah. Uh, we have, um, yeah, you might just winding up putting the pictures from... The or video from the yesterday's Christmas tree or whatever you could do. You're yeah, the expert in that. Some, some stuff uh, to post on Wednesday and fr Wednesday and Friday. Yeah. 
You are spontaneous. Uh, no promises on that one, but I am going to try and get better about re starting to post again on Wednesdays and Fridays. Yeah. Uh, not sure if I'm going to go back to the Sibuano lessons. It, yeah. Well, maybe, a... I, I don't know. We'll figure that one out. Yep. But, Mabuhai! Cool.